The first sign wasn't obvious, just a new star winking into existence. Astronomers dismissed it as a supernova, until the radio transmission started, garbled and chaotic, hinting at a desperate conflict far beyond our solar system. Then the ships arrived, not in an organized invasion, but in a panicked, scattered fleet. Two factions, the Zolari and the Katek, had brought their war to our doorstep. The Zolari, bioluminescent and organic-looking, projected an aura of controlled fury, their communications filled with accusations of the Kateka's betrayal. The Katek, sleek and mechanical, responded with cold pronouncements of the Zolari's imminent extinction. Earth, caught in the crossfire, scrambled to respond. Some governments offered sanctuary to the refugees, others saw an opportunity to scavenge advanced technology from the wreckage of the space battles that were beginning to pepper the skies. Neither strategy was particularly successful. Alien refugees, and used to our world, caused cultural turmoil, and attempts to understand their technology often led to accidental, and occasionally explosive, results. Amidst the chaos, a fringe group emerged, the translators. Fascinated by the complexity of the alien conflict, they dedicated themselves to deciphering the languages of both factions. It started subtly, offering linguistic aid to refugee camps or translating intercepted transmissions between warring ships. Yet, as they delved deeper, a horrifying truth became clear. The Zolari and Katek weren't just rivals, their conflict was about fundamental existence. The Katek planned a genocidal purge, using Earth as a staging ground to deploy a galaxy-destroying bioweapon designed to wipe out the Zolari and likely other organic-based life forms. Horrified, the translators were now faced with a dilemma, remain neutral observers, or intervene in a war that would likely decide the fate of our planet as well as countless others. The choice led to a clandestine operation. Using their linguistic skills, the translators sowed discord amongst the Katek, planting false orders, sabotaging communication channels, and discreetly supplying the Zolari with intelligence on the bioweapons development. The result was a destabilization of the Katek war effort, leading to a desperate gamble. In a last-ditch attempt, the Katek rushed the bioweapons deployment. Just as they prepared to unleash it upon the galaxy, a Zolari fleet, galvanized by the information leaked by the translators, struck. The battle above Earth was cataclysmic, the very fabric of space-time warped by the horrific energies unleashed. In the end, both sides were decimated, the bioweapon neutralized in an explosion that showered Earth with exotic and potentially dangerous debris. The alien war was over, but its consequences had only just begun. Earth was forever changed, seeded with strange alien matter and riddled with the echoes of a conflict barely understood. The translators remained, now guardians of a terrible knowledge, facing a future marked by the constant threat of renewed hostilities from other corners of a suddenly more dangerous galaxy.